The nine plane combatants died during fierce fighting between plane and the then Swatev on the 2nd of April 1989, the day after UN Resolution 435 came into effect. The UN Resolution 435, adopted in September 1978, put forward proposals for a ceasefire and UN supervised elections in Southwest Africa, which ultimately led to the independence of Namibia in 1990. At the time of the ceasefire agreement, the group set up a temporary base at Enganja village when they entered Namibia, but were ordered to go and hand themselves over to the United Nations Transition Assistance Group, UNTAG, while waiting to be demobilized. Little did they know that their tracks were followed by Swatev, who started firing at them, which led to fierce fighting. Nine of the 13 planned combatants were buried at Enganja village and three at Oshatotwa. Various members of the community as well as family members of the former planned fighters decided to exhume the remains buried in unmarked graves and reburied them in a mass grave following complaints that those who died in the battle are forgotten by the government. This undertaking was welcomed by some, but others questioned the motives behind and whether it was carried out within the confinements of the law. Police Chief Inspector General Sebastian De Tunga says he found that their act was illegal, the police will take the necessary action in accordance with the Criminal Procedure Act. Uh, I'm not saying there is a wrongdoing. Maybe there were uh, proper authorization. I'm not too sure. We are going, we are going to look into it. Um, my advice to um, members of the public is to cool down and uh, understand the issues that uh, the wrong things sh should not be emulated. We should always make sure that we abide by the law, by the rules that are, are regulating uh, conduct of so our society. Henceforth, if there was a um, wrongdoing in this case, let the law take its course. What we have to do is all of us to to unite and uh, co co correct the wrong one. Swapo Secretary General Sofia Shaningwa says the party only learned about the undertaking through a video which was circulating on social media platforms. The party, Shaningwa says, will only comment after proper consultations. The organizers now plan to erect a tombstone at the newly established mass grave to be followed by an unveiling on the 26th of August this year. Ndapandashuya, NBC News. Oshakati.